it has been a minute since I have done this. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, hope you guys are all well. As you guys can see from the title below today, I will be sharing a thrift haul with you guys. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Bira. I make sustainable fashion and lifestyle content. If you are an OG, you guys know that I used to drop the thrift hauls all the time on my channel and it's been a minute since I've done one. So I thought I'd do one for you guys today, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this thrift haul is going to consist of things from Vinted, car boot sales and charity shops and this stuff I've accumulated over the past couple months since like the beginning of the year and I've just been like collecting everything so I thought it was about time to just share some stuff so some stuff is like early winter pieces and then some stuff is like transitioning into spring and summer so let's just jump into it okay I think I'm gonna start off with tops so the first one is this really cute crochet mesh long sleeve top very y2k the brand is julie it has this like really weird pocket at the front i really like the way i styled it i did a very y2k outfit with it with some really cute sunglasses and i like the way i did it off the shoulder this is like you can wear it on the shoulder but i think it looks cute off the shoulder i think this will be a really nice layering piece to like transition from the spring to the summer and then i can wear this for quite a few different pieces so yeah i got this i can't remember what charity shop i got this from but i got it for like three or four pounds the next top i got is i guess a jumper and i got this from a car boot sale and i just fell in love with the colors they were so so pretty i love that it has like the spring and summer colors with the pink and like the beige beige sagey khaki color but it is like a knit material i got this from a car boot seller that was like selling loads of like a lot of dead stock fashion brands so like there was like Boohoo, there was River Island, there was um, Monkey, um, ASOS, like he had like a whole table full of like items. This, I got this brand new, it's by a brand called Religion. It's so soft, it's so comfy. I'm tempted to cut it up, you guys know what I'm like, I usually end up cutting up all my clothes and I'm trying not to do that with this piece but the way I've styled it, I think I'm gonna cut it up but I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this is, it's really really long, it can be worn as a dress, it's super super long so I'm gonna try and get a wear out of this before it gets super super hot and I can't actually wear this so um yeah I got that and I think this was like six pounds the next top I got is this beautiful marble mesh long sleeve top I got this off vintage I actually got this a couple weeks ago this was actually supposed to be one of my birthday outfits but unfortunately that didn't happen so the idea was to actually wear this with um another piece that I got from vintage that I'll show you in the trousers section in a bit guys but i was supposed to wear this to go and see tina turner with my aunt for my birthday rest in peace tina turner but we went before she passed away i based my outfit around one of the posters that i had seen um online of like the theater production um so this is like the inspiration for it but i do need to alter this because i got it brand new with tags i've taken the tag off because i washed it it's originally from river island and it's a size 12 so i was gonna like redo this and like make it fit me but I just fell in love with the colors they're so beautiful and I feel like you can make so many different outfits from this because of the colors in the top because you've got like orange yellow purple green like you can pretty much go ham with like the outfit choices so yeah I got this this was this was 11.99 oh and the tag before I pulled it off said 25 pounds I think okay so the last top I got is this really cute simple black rib top it's a two-way zip so you can zip it up that way or this way I can't lie I literally just got this for work because I have to wear it all black and um I'm running out of like tops to circulate that are like cute for me to work without feeling like a potato so I got this this was also new with tags I took the tag off again because I washed it this was from the car boot sale so I got this top at the same time I got the pink um like knit jumper dress and this is originally from Naked and it's in a size small so yeah that was all my tops so I'm gonna go into pants trousers okay so trousers let's get into it okay so the first pair of trousers is a basic pair of black denim these are from monkey I got these brand new with tags again I got these from the car boot sale I have worn the crap out of these since I've got them and I went to the car boot sale like three weeks ago three four weeks ago um again I need to wear all black to work so these are ideal I don't actually own a pair of wide leg 
jeans. I don't own any black jeans. I just feel like they just don't look flattering on me because I'm quite slim and small and the only pair of black jeans I have are my black skinny jeans from Levi's when I used to work in Levi's. But I don't have any other ones. So yeah, when I saw these, I thought, why not? And yeah, I've been wearing the crap out of them. I really like that they're wide leg um, and they're really comfortable and they fit me on the waist to a T. So yeah, I got those. This was like six, seven pounds. The guy at the car sale gave me a deal, guys, like a bundle. So like everything I got was like 30 pounds and I got like six items or five. I can't remember. But yeah, that's the first pair. The second pair are giving Y2K to the core. They are these vintage jeans from Ape Sin Denim Art. And it, it just says 8th Avenue, Manhattan, New York City on the back of them. I paid seven pounds for them from a charity shop called Mind. And they're just like this. I love like the acid wash down the middle. Here for it. Um, they fit low rise. I don't know if I'm gonna put these on my Depop. I don't know. Um, I haven't worn them yet, but I did like the way I styled them. I styled them with this top I'm wearing right here. So yeah, got these. The next pair of trousers I got are these orange cargos. They are fluorescent, flu 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 fluorescent orange. Am I saying that right? I don't know. Um, I got these off Depop. As I mentioned before, guys, earlier when I was showing you guys my tops, I wanted to do a really cute fit for going to see Tina Turner in the theatre. And I decided on these bottoms to go with this top but obviously the outfit didn't happen in the end. And it didn't happen because none of this came in time. I was super last minute and I ordered the stuff too late and then it just didn't happen. I don't know if these are just a bit too bright for my liking. I don't own any trousers like this, but they are cargoes, so like you can't go wrong with a pair of cargoes. But um, I'm not sure what else I would style these with. They're originally from Primark. Yeah, got these from Depop, I think they were like eight pounds, I think, I can't remember. These again were brand new. They haven't been worn um so yeah that's those and then i have another pair of denim which i got from the car boot sale like i told you guys with like the deal from the guy these again were brand new these are from asus asus am i okay guys these are from asos and they are a tapered denim it's really hard to like buy clothing at car boot sales especially because obviously there's no way for you to try them on so you're literally just eyeballing it seeing if it's going to fit you but i intentionally bought these too big um yeah these do not fit me i want to make the i want to make it into a cute denim skirt because all the girlies be wearing denim skirts and i've been seeing it all over my feet um so now that i've washed them i'm probably going to do a cute little diy video for you guys showing you guys how i turn these into a skirt but yeah the standard. The last bottoms I got, I am in love with. And again, I'm gonna make these into a skirt, a really cute Y2K cargo skirt, I can't wait. And they are these. They do look really cute as trousers, but I just think they'll look even cuter as a skirt. Again, I got these from the car boot sale with all the other pair of trousers. They're from Collusion. They're in a size 10 L. I don't know what that means with the L. I think maybe long or large, I don't know. Um, and I just love the the pocket detail at the front. I love the contrast stitching. I just think, oh, they were just so well designed. And I love the ruche at the bottom. I think this is what gives the Y2K element. Um, and I think this is what will make it look really cute as a um, long maxi skirt. So yeah, I got that. Okay, going on to shirt slash jackets, I guess, if you want to call it that. The first shirt is, again, very Y2K. I got it from a charity shop the same time I got the Y2K trousers. I got this from the British Heart Foundation. It's by a brand called Indigo Palms. And I just really like the print on oh, it. Yeah, I just thought it was really, really cool. Um, I don't know if I want to cut this out. I don't really know what I want to do with it. But I kind of like the way I styled it. It was really, really random. Yeah, I just really like the colours and the print. So I thought why not i paid six pounds fifty for this the next shirt i got is this one i got this from the car boot sale i just really like the wash of it the girlies have been doing denim on denim so i really wanted to either find a skirt in this denim wash 
or make this into a skirt. I was like trying everything on and somehow I ended up draping this on my body and turning it into a skirt. I don't know how I'm gonna construct it as a skirt, but I really like the way I draped it. So I could turn this into a skirt because I do have quite a few denim shirts already, but I don't have a denim shirt in this wash. But um, this is her. And then the last shirt slash denim jacket I got is this beautiful River Island denim jacket. This is very much giving Levi's slash um, this vintage Armani denim jacket that I thrifted forever ago. It looks very, very similar to this. I bought this because I wasn't sure, again, if I wanted to do the denim or denim look because I don't have anything in this wash. Oh, that was my idea. I remember now. I wanted this as a skirt and then this is a top, but I don't know if the washes are like similar enough to do. So yeah, I might put it on my Depop. I don't know. But yeah, I got this. I can't remember how much I paid for this either. I think it was like eight pounds or something. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is I guess an outerwear piece slash cardigan slash I don't know what to call it. I'm in love with this. I haven't worn it out yet. The gram hasn't seen it and I just can't wait to wear this outfit. And it is this beautiful shirling cardigan jacket thing. This is so, so Y2K. I'm in love with it. I love the way I styled it. I styled it with some really cute beige cargos, but I absolutely love this. The only thing is this absolutely molts like crazy. Like I can't put this near any of my nice cotton stuff because it will just attract all of the fur or whatever this is, this knit. And then it also has a really cute hood as well, which I really, really love, but I'm in love with this. This is originally from Next, and I got this when I got this shirt. This was from the same charity shop, I think. Um, so I think I got this from the British Heart Foundation, and I paid about seven pounds for this. Okay, so the last item is very, very random, but obviously, like I said, guys, I started thrifting these pieces at the beginning of the year, so it was super, super cold, and yeah, it's been chilling in my wardrobe, so I don't know if I'm gonna put this on my Depop. But it is this vintage um, Cowboys NFL um, windbreaker jacket thing. I think it's just super, super cool on. I love the way I styled it. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this on my Depop because I don't know if I'm, I would actually wear this. And obviously it's coming up to spring and summer now, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna have a chance to wear it. The only thing is it's missing its original hood. But besides that, I absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, it's just super cool. I love the size of it. I got it from the men's section. And yeah, that was the last of my jackets, coats, and denim jackets. <laughs> okay, so the last thing I have to share is my accessories and then we're done with the haul. So I think I wanna show you guys jewelry pieces, shoes, I only have one pair of shoes, hats, accessories, scarf, bags, and then we're done. So first up is jewelry pieces as you guys can see. But um, again, Y2K is very much back. And I really wanted to get some beautiful statement silver pieces because as you guys can see, I'm obsessed with gold. And I don't really have any really nice statement silver jewelry. So I was like, I need to get some. And thankfully the thrift gods really came through when it came to these pieces. I really want to get some more, but this is just the start, you know? So, okay, let me start off with this heart pendant. This was actually on my birthday wish list. I really wanted one, but I think I wanted a gold one. I can't remember if I put it as gold or silver, but yeah, these are all separate pieces that I thrifted. So the pendant, I actually just found randomly in a charity shop um, when I did like a little cute TikTok for visiting charity shops in central London. And I went into Oxfam and there was like a little tray of like random knickknacks and this pendant was in there, but it was by itself. So I decided um, to pick it up. It was like 50p. And then um, I went further along into the men's section and then they had a load of different necklaces um, and they all had like this rope tie. So I decided to buy one of those and it had a crystal at the end of it. I can't remember what I did with that crystal, but anyway, um, I took the string off of the necklace with the crystal and decided to pull it on this pendant. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I can't wait to style this. And then the next necklace I got is this beautiful, it's like raindrops. I That's how I call it. It's like raindrops, 3D raindrops. 
which I thought was really cool. I really want to make this into a choker, but the chain isn't short enough. So I just think it will look stunning. I bought this on my birthday with my birthday outfit. And yeah, I just loved it. This was, how much was this? I can't remember how much I got this from. This was from my little charity shop escapades in central London. It was just really random small charity shop called Mind. And this was in there. Anyway, got that. And then we got some beautiful silver bangles. Look at these. Oh, I'm obsessed with these. So we have this one. This one, the quality isn't great. The elastic is like pretty much wearing away on this. I got this from the car boot sale for a pound, I think. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to replace the elastic on this, which is a bit annoying. And then it just has like an engraving on, engraving on it. And it says bliss, love, quality, spirit. Yeah, all over it. And then these, these two, are my favorite finds. The fact that I found these together, I was like, oh my God. I found these on Shoreditch High Street. Um, there's like a high street full of charity shops on Shoreditch High Street. And um, I found these two bangles together. Um, no, these were actually sold separately, but I decided to be cheeky and stick them together. I got them from Cancer Research. They were four pounds, I think, four or five pounds. Um, and yeah. I just think they're stunning and I love that they're like clasp things. So yeah, that was all my jewelry pieces. Then a random pair of shoes I got that I actually forgot I thrifted. Um, I only found them when I was moving out and I was like taking all my stuff with me and I was like, oh my God, I forgot I even bought these because I was gonna put these on my Depop because I thought someone would really like them. And then they're just these pointed burgundy um, vintage shoes and they're from Kavala, Kavala, I don't know how to say that. They're brand new, never been worn. The sole is clean, clean. And I got them from the British Heart Foundation. And I would keep these myself, but they do not fit me. They are so tiny. They are a size 36. I'm gonna put them on my Depop. So if any of you guys really like these, go snatch them. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys the heel. It's like a kitten heel, it's tiny. But um, this would be really nice with like an oversized pant if you want to wear some cute pointed heels without killing your feet. So I got these. And then the last lot of stuff is accessories. So the first accessory is this crochet, handmade crochet by the Clava that I got from Depop. I really, really like this. I've been wanting one of these for ages. I'll give you guys the name of the seller that I got it from. She's super talented. I really want to get some more colors in this, but I, have, I did wear this quite a lot in the earlier months of the year when it was colder. Oh, this was this was 12 pounds. And then from the car boot sale, I got this baseball cap. Very again, Y2K, I love the wash of the denim. I'm not a baseball cap babe, but for some reason I could not leave this. This was like a pound, I think. Um, I might put this on my Depop shop, it says Barcelona on it. Yeah, caps just, I don't know, they just don't, ooh, they just don't, um, suit me or well, maybe they do i don't know but yeah i got that have a look on my depop if you guys like this i might put it on there and then the last lot of stuff i got is these two bags so the first one is this really cute y2k bag i love the eyelet detail this very much reminds me of the eyelet belts that have been everywhere and it just says pure on the buckle i like the detail of the buckle like this. I've been wearing this quite a lot. I really, really like this. I find it really interesting that the inside is like super different from the outside. Like I didn't expect the inside to be like this. I can't remember the name of the charity shop I got this from, but I paid three pounds and I absolutely love it. Obsessed, 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 obsessed. Um, I did style it in a few of my other outfits that I've shown you guys. So yeah, this is her. And then the last bag I got is from the car boot sale and it is this beautiful oversized silver handbag and I really really love this this was nine pounds I think this was brand new she had like a, a whole load of different ones so I think again this is dead stock but uh yeah I styled this with my top and the cargo skirt that I want to make from the trousers that I also got from the car boot sale and I was just obsessed with the outfit when I put it together so yeah let me know what you guys think down below 
but yeah guys that was my haul i hope you guys enjoyed i haven't dropped a thrift haul in so so long so yeah i just thought it was so overdue to just share one with you guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already if you guys are new to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video peace